Hello. Hello, Mr. Cowley. How are Hello. you? Hello. Who's, uh, who's this, Christina? Yes, my name's Christina. I write for ScareTissue.com. <laughs> okay. Where How are you calling from? I live in Virginia. I'm good. Um, I, in a in a small uh-huh. small town about uh, 45 miles outside of DC, and I kind of want to get this out of the way. Um, I'm a huge fan of yours. I was big fan of Sons of Anarchy, oh. and uh, honestly, you are my favorite character. <laughs> so when this opportunity <laughs> came up, I had to I had to jump on this. So I just well, I just wanted to get that out of the much. way. Thank you. Thank no, you for thank talking you. to us. Thank you. Um, oh, it's so my I watched, pleasure. I watched the movie yesterday, and I do have to uh-huh. say I I really enjoyed you in it. You were very commanding on the screen. So I think, um, you know, our, our readers, they really like to know when we do interviews, um, what kind of drew you to this script? Because it's it's a very different sort of haunted house movie. Right. Yeah, well, you, you know, I, I work I, I worked with Darren on a, on a small musical horror movie called uh, Devil's Carnival. Okay. Uh, you know, where I got I got to sing it and <laughs> have fun, and it was it was very off the wall. And and uh, Darren was talking to me about this this character and this and this movie called Avatar that he had okay. that he wanted me to read, and you know. So I, I uh, after we finished Devil's Carnival, I, I she sent me the script and you know I read it and it was uh, it, it was different, just like you said. It was it was something I thought, wow, this might be fun to do, you know, because it was a different character than uh, I'd been, you know, that normally I, you know, you you'd start playing, you know. And, right, uh, right. I like to do I, different it, things. It was, you know. Yeah, it was a real departure from, I guess, from again my yeah. favorite character, you know. Wayne Unser. So, and it was nice. I mean, it was really nice to see some. I guess some of the same traits that kind of kind of drew a lot of your fans to you, but a very different. Yeah. Well, I did a, a character. It's a really I different take. Deadwood. Yes. A, a show called Deadwood. I did. It was fun to do too. It was different, you know. Yeah. So I like to do different yeah. things, and you know, we, with people that are open to worked, doing that, you know. You worked with another one of my favorite actors in Deadwood, Jim Beaver. So, uh huh. Yeah. But yeah, the two yeah. of you on so, screen together. In, yeah, it was that was in we did we did one show called Johnson Cincinnati. After we did Deadwood, we did Johnson Cincinnati for David Mills. And uh, oh, yeah, we got to work together again okay. there. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, it was now, just a short lived ten ten episode series. I think my sorry, son is a fan. No, I was just going to ask. I guess um, you know Jessica Lowndes. And then Joe Anderson, I've you know I've seen them and I'm familiar with their work in in other, um, you know, in other movies and other TV series and, and things like that. But I guess watching the show or the movie, I think what kind of took me aback was the two of them created kind of a very vintage kind of film noir atmosphere just around the two of them, not in the whole movie, but mm-hmm. you know with their with the clothes and their demeanor, their 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 kind of take on the dialogue and things like that. Was that, I mean, was that deliberate? Did did you kind of notice that that was different? Or, you know, was that just kind of a character choice that the two of them made? Oh, well, uh, that, that I don't know. I just, you know, I, I mean, I was so, my character is a bit off the wall. So I didn't, it didn't, didn't surprise me that somebody else would be a little off the wall, you know, with the way they dressed. You know, I, I was coming right. out of the 19th, 18th century. So, um, you, you know, uh, I was pretty accepting, you know, and, and the way they played it, you know, you'd have to ask, ask them. I, I, you know, I, I like what it ended up on the screen and, and everything. So, I'm just quite happy with the movie, you know. Um, right, I was. Yeah, Darren, I, Darren I really did, enjoyed it. Darren did want, Darren did want to do like this noir thing, you know. Um, he 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 did go for that, so I, I'm I'm sure. Okay. In the in the direction that it was given, you know. Right. So that was a very deliberate deliberate <laughs> choice. Now, and I think for I, me, yeah, I believe so. As a as a reviewer, kind of as as somebody watching this, getting ready to interview you and and do a write up, 
um, I, I appreciated that some not everything was so cut and dry. So I think in um, you know in your opinion, what did what did the town want from Chrome, from your character? What were they expecting to get from you? Uh, a better life. <laughs> You know, I was promising them a better life that, that they had to sacrifice for. It, so, and then, uh, you know, uh, without giving the movie away, I guess I'm, I'm asking them to sacrifice their children, you know, yeah. and, uh, I'm thinking there's going to be a salvation in that. Everybody, you know, it's like a sacrificial lamb. You know, we need to sacrifice well, the, people. You, you handled that really well. I mean, I uh-huh. know, um, I, you know, obviously I write for a horror blog, so I watch a lot of horror movies, but killing a child, you know, children, it's always been very taboo. But I think what really mm-hmm. surprised me about the movie was the way it was handled. I mean, it was almost like, like you said, like a sacrifice. Like, you know, you kind of had to make things right because I guess Julie and her sister, they weren't supposed to. They weren't supposed well, to make it out of Well, if you want people to English. do something, if you want people, if you, if you want people to do something bad, you have to make them think they're doing something good. Right. Uh, right. I know, really and convince them they're doing something good. So you right. know, you you, you know, in t- as far as me uh, wanting that, I had to uh, just convince them, and you know, and. Plus, I also think it's the right thing. And, you know, in convincing myself, I'm going to convince you uh, right. to do what I ask, what I think is needed, what I think you should do. So um, it, it comes from the, I have to believe it first. Once I believe it, then I can get you to believe it, hopefully. Right. And Lynn people Shad, know when you're bullshit. How is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? So oh, yeah. sooner or later they go, eh, which which eventually happens. Not buying you know. it, huh? So and Lynn Shay, well, how was you it? Well, I don't want I don't want you know I'm, I don't want to give away any movie plots and things, but you know, um, you know he uh, he he's on a path and uh, he believes he's doing the right thing to get what he wants. And, he did, uh, and I thought and I was... and help other people too. And I was surprised. I was surprised at how, I mean, what you, you know, I think what you were doing, it was, it was hard. It was kind of a despicable thing, but you really kind of infused the character with some, some empathy, some sympathy. And, and as a viewer, it was easy for me to buy into what you were saying. I think, and that's why I was so impressed with the character, even though, you know, he's not the, not the nicest guy. I was impressed with the, <laughs> the empathy that you were able to give this man who is really not a nice guy. So, yeah, but well, Lin, thank you. <laughs> Lin Shay, how is it working with her? Because, I mean, she's a real... Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't, really, we only worked together just maybe our paths crossed, I think, only two days. So, yeah, I mean, it was uh, yeah, great. There was just uh, a few those two days were really good. It was two, two days were really good, but you know it was short lived. But we, we yeah. had a good time. You know it was, it was uh, fun. You know we worked a little differently, and it was it was fun. You know working things out. You know. Well, I like so, I like uh, your the final scene with her. I really when she kind of uh-huh. yeah you know she kind of gave you permission right. to just be done. I really right. I liked that. I right. thought that was a good ending. So. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah real, you know, yeah, we, we, you know, she came up with certain ideas, and you know, and, and certain some 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 worked, and then some we changed, and you know, and right. we work another, you know, and then then you know, then we got one that that felt right, and, oh, yeah, looked, and so ended up excited. looking oh, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying we have to do the last question soon. Okay, no, okay. I you know I have just have one question. Everybody always wants to know when we go interview ahead. what is your what is your favorite horror movie? Oh, I don't watch horror movies. Really? <laughs> they they give me nightmares. I can't watch horror movies. Oh. <laughs> you know, okay. I can be have, in them. I'm going to have to close down that one. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I can be in them because I know who's living and dying, but I can't, right. I can't watch them. But you can't my watch daughter, them. Oh, okay. My daughter. 
my daughter watches them all, and, and she gets, tries to get me to watch them with her. And I, uh, I try, but I get about a quarter of the way through the movie, and I gotta leave. You know, oh, you're done. Oh. I get too anxious. I get too anxious. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm Thank sorry you. I can't give you one. No, that's okay. That you that know? was funny. You know, I our, our go, fans are I gonna love that. I have to go back. What? Well, you want to know the truth? The last time I watched horror movies was when I was a kid, and they were in Frankenstein and Werewolf and Dracula movies were oh. black and white. That's yeah, Frankenstein's that's one of my I favorites. So, uh, <laughs> that, well, yep. they're some of the best. So. Thank you so you much know? for taking the yep. time to to speak with me. And, oh, and welcome, like I said, this was this was a real treat for me. I really. I really had oh. a good time talking to you, sir. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And I'm going to check out My pleasure. check out thank Devil's you. Carnival now. So, thank you. Oh, yeah, bye bye. It's fun. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye bye.